<laughs> you all know why I'm here today. We finally have Alco. Alco is in the game. Or soon to be in the game. Not yet, not yet. But this is huge news for Melty Blood. Obviously, uh, Noel, dead Apostle Noel, is also coming to the game. If you haven't heard, they are both coming to the game. And they're both going to be free. Free of charge DLC. Let's go. Uh, I believe it's January 13th, but let's watch this trailer. I think at the end of it, it tells it. But if you haven't seen this trailer yet, oh my god. If, you, if you've never played Melty Blood before, um, you're probably like, this character looks cool. But for people that play Melty... Um, at any point in time, this character means a lot to the game. She is a huge fan favorite for the game, and she's also one of my favorite fighting game characters ever. I think her design is super sick. Um, but here, let's check it out. Also, this music is like so perfect. It's like this like nice. I don't even know. It's it just like it feels like the game is being saved by Alko. It, I love the music at the beginning. And the stage is back. We have grass. The one fighting game where you get to touch grass, bro. Melty blood. Come on. <laughs> so right off the bat, if you didn't know, uh, she has very interesting mobility. So she contains uh, triple jump and a double air dash these are both confirmed by the way so as you see here right she has the launcher she does bc 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 air throw right so she has a triple launcher. So orbs are back so one of her main things about her uh at least obviously right because older multi bloods they had three versions of the character um most characters in this game are based off of their crescent form. We've talked about this uh, previously um, in older Melty Bloods. So um, she she does maintain the orb. Uh, you can see right here at the beginning, she kind of shoots it out. Um, so this is like one way she does it is that she like will she'll shoot it like straight forward, right? Um, and it appears that the actual attack has has a uh, because he puts some uh, Alka puts Shiki here and blocks him. So. The initial send out and also obviously the orb itself has a hitbox right so so she gets sent out right still has that nice overhead um it's not the fastest overhead in the world but uh it will get the job done also of course because of the orbs there even though let's say if she were to block it'd be plus hmm. the air laser is also back this move is so good uh i hope it's good in this game too um, basically she gets to like summon a projectile that's just straight down laser beam. It's very, very good for her mobility. On top of her having a triple jump, it's very hard to catch her in the air, which is quite good for characters in multi blood, right? So um in older games, she was uh good. Um I believe most people consider her to be like A tier. I don't know if she was ever like an S tier character, um, but but like most people consider her to be pretty good. That's look affirm into one of her super so this this animation is a little bit different. So she um, she used to like slam her hand down and then summon all these pillars, but now she does like this kind of uh, flash kick. The throw into the orb, obviously. So you get to see some of the, the creative ways you get to use the orb. Again, off of the block, right? You know, people people hate shield, right? So uh, it's good of them to show something that like, Alco has this quite different ways to deal with shield because the orb doesn't go away even on block. Hit that arc drive, that classic arc drive. All right, yeah, so January 3rd, she drops. So I am so excited. Oh my God, I played her in older multiple games. Uh, I played her in NBA ACC. Uh, I played the Crescent Form 2, which um, is the most drippy. Um, her other version, uh, her full moon was much less uh, drippy, but it was quite good, very simple. Obviously, with the orbs and stuff like that, um, she's kind of like a mixture of the two, but we have to see, right? So, um, she's a little bit of a mix of, like, maybe a little bit of full, maybe a little bit of crescent, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, January 13th, right? So, like I said, January 13th, her and Dead Apostle Noel will be available for free on all platforms. So, yeah, we're going to be playing some melts again. I'm super excited. I really wanted to play some melts again. 
Um, you know, it, it's tough because like fight, fighting games are just games in general, like have constant updates and this game hasn't had any real bounce update or anything like that. So, you know, it, it, it can get a little dry and also people still don't like shield as a mechanic. So it makes it hard for people to like want playing the game, but two free DLC characters, right? One of them being a super big fan favorite, one being brand new to the game. So yeah, let's see. We get a little bit, a little bit more, a little more hype for Multiblade. Uh, maybe they'll drop some some balance with it too, you know. Still kind of early. Still got to wait like uh, almost two weeks. But um, yeah, that's it for me. Have a very happy new year. I will see you in 2022 with some more Melty Blood. Take it easy.